Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's Beer Reviews, and this time it's Dinkasi Burn Company Otis Oatmeal Stout. I've seen this all over, but I've never had it until now. Um, so the Bic will get this done. Oh, almost. almost. I got my knife. Where did I set that? Where did I? There it is. Fuck the knife. I saw this thing at uh, Walmart. You've probably seen it before. There we go. I can't s just check now. I look in the viewfinder. Anyways, um, I saw um, this bottle opener at Walmart. Ew. Here. That looks delicious. Um, I saw this bottle opener at Walmart. It was cheap. It was $1.29, but not only was the price cheap, it looked like really dumb. Like, uh, it was a triangular kind. You know, you have you stick it on there and you prop it up. Yeah, with the triangle on the end. But past the triangle, there was a port, like that long, for the flame. And, uh, <laughs> you don't need two things so simple that giant because this is a bottle opener and this is a lighter like if you could tie them together somehow or tape whatever if you gotta have both side by side but some, having something that long and then like that much of it is the flame thing that sticks out it's just complete overkill probably breaking a week alright anyways enough of that rant um, that's what it looks like it looks delicious this oatmeal stout is 7.2% uh, and uh, let me smell it. Oh, you smell the, the dark roast, like, like the coffee smell, the, the, can you smell the oats? I guess so. It does, it smells pretty similar to a Guinness. Um, that's just me. Otis Oatmeal Stout, a rich, complex oatmeal stout with just enough hops to balance the copious qualities of dark roasted malts and the addition of oatmeal for creamy, smooth drinkability. And this is brewed in Eugene, Oregon. Um, I think a six pack of Ninkasi, it doesn't really matter what it is, um, is about $7.99, $8. Seven, well, $7.99, $8.99. Maybe nine and nine if you go like a Circle K or something or some expensive place. But man, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Eh, I don't know. It's not very bright in here. Anyways, let's drink this. Oh yes, that is delicious. That it has like the same like mouthfeel and it's very similar to that I can't remember what it was but that that German I'll have to like put in that the info later but it was like that German uh, beer beer I had that was a stout I don't think it was an oatmeal stout but I know it was a creamy stout but it was very light um I had it when, when I was at the coast I'm gonna review on it Anyways, that it has the same. This has the same mouthfeel, but that was like way too, way too thin. It was like you're drinking just head. It was like you're drinking just you know. Yeah, it was just way too thin. But this has you know both. It's it's creamy, but yet yeah, has it doesn't just feel too light. This doesn't feel like you're drinking, you know, suds. Yeah, this is. This is pretty delicious. I don't, I don't know if I'd say a ten, but I'll say a nine point six. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's 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 great. It's it's awesome. I, I I don't know if it's the best beer I've had. It's one of the better ones. It's one of the, one of the best ones I've had. Um, I'm glad I finally had it. And then Cosy Otis. Um, oh yeah, I had Beer Advocate rigged up on here, ready to go. Okay, uh, Beer Advocate gives it an 88. The bros have not reviewed it. The average submitted review is 
38 people want it, 39 people got it. 499 ratings, 194 views. Um, it's available year round, which is kind of new. Um, 45 IBUs. Um, yeah. Somebody's review. Let's see, here we go. 3.545. Mark E. from California. Taste, mostly malts, coffee, oatmeal, chocolate. Yeah, I can taste that chocolate. Mm. Mouthfeel, full body, creamy and dry. Slight hot bitterness in the finish. The verdict, good beer, well balanced and very smooth, but a bit bland overall. Nothing to really complain about. It's a good solid stout, but there's nothing really to make it stand out from the crowd. I wonder how expensive he pays for his beers because this uh, this tastes amazing to me. And uh, if you're going to buy uh, like a 22 ounce, it'd probably be about... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn that light on. Um, it'd probably be about four bucks, or maybe about three something, about three, three and a half, four bucks around there, but not five. So I don't know what would be better than this. Um, drinks like a five percent session ale, ha a must grab if you are entertaining stout game. That's what somebody else said. I don't know their name. It's scrolling by. So, yeah, a lot of people seem to like it. I don't really see any really low scores. Like, the lowest I see is like a, a couple 3.75s. But they don't really put in any review to it. It's just a score. Yeah, for, for being a 7.5% uh, ABV, um, it. It's only. Let's see, five, seven and a half. Eight and a half. That's less than a whole percentage. Like so, six, seven, eight, nine, eight point one. So that'd be six tenths of a difference to like a hurricane or two eleven or something. This just, you know, this blows it out of the water. You know, it's six tenths of a percent. What's that? When you want so with actual flavor and. Something you can not regret drinking. However, 211 is dirt cheap, and if you want to get drunk, there you go. So, if you like dark beers, you know, you like the concept of molasses, oatmeal, the taste of chocolate slash dark chocolate in your beer, you know, uh, what else? Oats. Did I say that? I think so. Um, you, like, you like that concept? You'll like this beer. I don't know why anybody would not like this beer. Especially, I mean, if you like dark beers. If you don't like dark beers, then you're missing out. Because I didn't like dark beers at first. As odd as that sounds. But when I first started, you know, I drank, like, ice beers. Um, what? Rolling Rock, I guess, was really my first favorite. Um, I never, but, you know, if you watch my videos, you'd know I never really stuck with the same uh, brand or same 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 beer at all. I, I would get, like, a Rolling Rock, and then, like, actually, I never even got it. For, for the most part, I'd, I'd get, like, 22 ounce, and then another 22 ounce, something else. Bounce back and forth, the hams, or I don't know, whatever. But the ones I got the least of was Bush and, and uh, Budweiser because yeah there's some there's some flavors you just gotta say no to actually that's not true I'll, I'll drink I'll drink it but I'm not gonna pay for it you know that's that's the difference but uh, yeah I'm already getting nine minutes in and yeah I say it's the 9.6 this is definitely a, a fabulous beer I mean yeah I don't know what else there is to say It's not like drinking malt liquor. You know, malt liquor has a kick. Um, it has a feel. You know, after a couple of drinks, you get yeah. You, you might not like it at first, but at least for me, like you feel whoa, what's that? But you, you, if you keep trucking, you keep on having a few more sips, you get attached to not well attached sounds kind of like an alcoholic term, but you get used to it, and then it's no big deal, and you just can drink more and more. But 
you know, like finish at 40, I don't mean, or whatever, finish the thing, I don't mean like drink till, till you pass out. I've never done that before. Um, but this, 72.2, let me remind you, I, Old English, 800 is 7.5. This is 7.2, and this it does not taste like 7.2. It tastes like, like six percent. Um, the only the only thing that it shows in the in the the alcohol is like the the darkness of the of the of the, like the roasted malted barley chocolateness. You know how dark it is. It's war brewed darker, but I don't know if it, if I had this like years ago when I first started drinking, I probably wouldn't have liked it. But then I didn't just give up and you know piss out like most people do. They they, just, they don't really care. They, they don't want to try anything anything different. They just stick to their Bud Light, uh, Coors or uh, Bush or whatever. They stick to the cheap basic beer. They don't branch out. They don't care. Me, I I get sick on the same old same old same old. I gotta have I gotta try something different, something different, and try this different. Ooh, I don't like that. Try that different, uh, you know, stout. Uh, try the IPA, uh, but then go back to stout. Oh, that's per that's not so bad after all. Go back to IPA. Oh, that ain't so bad. I, I thought it was time for. And then you keep on having it again, again. Your taste buds build up. It's kind of like if you have like, you don't like vegetables at first when you're little, but then when you get older, you should like vegetables when you get older. Otherwise, you're gonna have pancreatic or I don't know, pancreatic, whatever. You're gonna have stomach problems if you don't eat vegetables. You know, it's kind of Unless you're just completely lucky. I don't know. I'm writing on too long. The beer's good. Check it out. Thanks for watching.